With the Wells Fargo Active Cash Credit Card, you can earn unlimited 2% cash rewards on purchases you want and purchases you need. That means you earn on what you want, like trying out that new workout class, and 2% cash rewards on what you need, like a foam roller for your sore muscles. That's the beauty of the Active Cash Credit Card. It's ready when you are, with unlimited 2% cash rewards. The Wells Fargo Active Cash Credit Card. That's real life ready. Terms apply. Learn more at wellsfargo.com slash active cash. The only person who's ever put a any sort of move on me is when I was living in doing extra work and I was in a makeup chair. And, and the that person dude. was Jerry Orbach. <laughs> <laughs> and now, Cheese Wits. Hello. Hello. Where's Christopher? I was just going to ask you. I thought it was your week to keep track Again, of him. Again, he's M-I-A. Did he forget time zones again? I don't know that he's away, is he? I don't think he is. Who knows? I, I, he was last week. Maybe he forgot to switch time zones back. He is He is a, a where in the world is Christopher Roth. Where in the world are you, Christopher Roth? Yeah, he, he's, out, he's out and about. I am going. This is the weekend of my basically 40th or so reunion of college pals. Wow. I know it. Oh, Jess, I'm feeling so fucking old. Why is this still making noise? Every single week, that noise comes from your phone as soon as we start and this look, show. I've got the volume all the way down, completely Which down. Which volume? The volume for what? My phone. The, the phone volume, I'm turning it down, down, down. That has nothing to do with anything. What is it? <laughs> Listen to this motherfucker go off. What? What is the deal? Didn't you already figure out there were different volumes for different things? But, but so look, I'm here. I'm watch it go down, down. You just but it doesn't. <laughs> oh wait, <laughs> wrong button. You just turned down. your phone off. <laughs> That's one way to make it be quiet. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to do that because I just don't. There's too many controls. All right. So I'm, I am going to turn it off. I guess I hit the right button to begin with. I power guess. off. I need to power off. Christopher. I, 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 I do need to power off. Did, did you like my idea for Chris? I already forgot what it was. <laughs> See, <laughs> I sent a note saying the same thing to you. I forgot the, the time capsule. Oh, yeah, because he had all the stuff and he's turning into his parents with his hoard. And you it's said, like so bury a time capsule and dig it up when you've forgotten what you own. And I said, How is it? what if he forgets where he put it? Oh, he'll forget. He said, fuck, it's Wednesday. Give me five. <laughs> what did he say? Fuck it, twins? Fuck, it's Wednesday. Oh, I thought he said, fuck it, twins. I thought he was having some sort of sexual epiphany. You thought he was yeah, having an, an encounter? I thought, I'm with the fuck it, twins. I, I need on. you to tell him that when he joins us in five minutes. Yeah, I, I thought that, that's what I thought you said. Fuck it, twins. <laughs> what? Yeah, he's fucking twins right now. He can't join us. Just kidding, I, Jenna. Uh, well, no, I was thinking maybe he calls Jenna's breasts the twins. <laughs> I'm fucking the twins. Um, no, <laughs> leave me alone. Cagney and Lacey. <laughs> you do not have breast names. You do. <laughs> you do. Laverne and no Shirley. Name. Laverne. Wow. So great duos is what you're saying. Well. Hello. Laurel and Hardy. <laughs> 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 oh my God. Yeah. Um. He just sent another text that says, fuck, mmm. Yeah, see, he is. <laughs> He's fucking the twins. <laughs> That's what's going on. He he and he and Jenna are are in in whatever that's called. I, I see I've even forgotten what that's called. Yeah, you and me both. I've forgotten all of it. Hmm. You know, this chair that I have, I think I have a chair very kind of similar to yours. A, 
a black, comfortable, cushy, leany back with a couple of arms, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I don't know how comfortable my it, chair is, but yeah. Well, yeah, mine's pretty. But the the, uh, the 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 wheels on this chair are perhaps the best wheels I've ever experienced on one of these roll around chairs. Mm -hmm. Like they work; they don't stick and get caught. So subsequently, I've almost fallen on my ass several times because I sort of le I sort of you know cozy up to the chair, go to sit down, and the fucking chair starts rolling. Like someone has pulled it out from under me and I have to reach back and go, oh, Jesus. <laughs> because I'm always expecting that, that, that shitty chairs that just, they stay there and you're like fighting them to move them around. I mean, mine's on carpet. So that is what I have. I oh, have yeah, no so idea how good the wheels are on this chair because it's on carpet. Do you have, do you have big seventies of shag carpet, Jess? It is not shag carpet. No. Oh, you have a very low, low pile. I don't know. It's a regular carpet. Right, right, regular carpet. It was installed. I can't crispy here while we're talking about your carpeting. And my twins. And your twins. And he's he's not here. He's going to be so sad. There he Hi, is. Hi, everybody. Oh, hello. See, so I absolutely forgot what day of the week it was. Yeah. This is Chris's job, though. Am I not correct? When we're talking about your twins and your carpeting is this is where I set Chris up and he comes in. Chris Wally thought when I read your text that said, fuck, it's Wednesday. He thought I said, fuck it, twins. And then he came to the conclusion that you were fucking twins. No, that was in college. Okay. Well, the twins, though, I was assuming you had a name for, for Jenna's breasts as the twins. No, no, no. Jenna actually works for a living, unlike the three of us. So she's not home. Oh, she's not. No, she's over uh, she's downtown Frednick somewhere. Hmm. Well, we were talking about Jess's carpet. Um, the one that matches the drapes. <laughs> see, I, see, that's why you got to have Chris here. Yeah, yeah, that's why. That's that's it. No, I was talking about my chair. Is it, you're in a car? Are you in a car? No, I'm actually walking up the steps. Oh, at your house? Yeah. Uh huh. Wow. That can't be. You are home? That's amazing. I don't think, I think you've only been home one other time that we've done this together. Maybe twice. Yeah, I, I think you're right. So, Chris, we were we were talking about um, your bevy of of accumulated stuff over the years of Sorry. radio. And the Bluetooth took over from the car. Oh, yeah, my, that happened so to my I still wife got the car morning. turned on in the driveway. Uh, my uh, my wife this morning, I, I would called her, and she and she's just going hello, 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 and I can hear her, and I'm saying hello, and I only say hello once. I do not partake in the hello. I do not hello several times. It, is well, it happens though to all of us, right? I mean, this happened to me in a car dealership once. All right. And I'm inside the car dealership watching something on Pornhub. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, you know, the people, poor people outside that are in the uh, car trying to service it are just hearing, oh, lick my pussy. Oh, lick my pussy. Yeah. <laughs> that would be too fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. No, that does happen to me, too. I will get a, a call, but my car, my phone will connect. Because I still live in a, sort of a community where, you can leave your car running at the grocery store or unlocked or whatever. You, you don't have to worry about someone running out and jumping in your car when you run into the Hannaford. In my <sighs> local town, the, the next the Hannaford, right? The the next town over, you got to lock it up and 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 hold your purse closely to yourself. What is the next town over, Wally? Um, Lewiston. Oh, oh Auburn. I didn't. I didn't Auburn, know Auburn was a bad area. That, that's yeah, so uh, funny. You could actually hear the radio station that we put on the air years ago. I wish I'd known you were up there. In Auburn? Mm-hmm. Where was the... Yeah, where was it was um, licensed to Ellsworth, 93.7. Jesus Christ, in Ellsworth. That's, way up the, that's way up the road. Yeah, but the thing's 50,000 watts, so... Huh. Well, and and so you owned, you sold it, obviously. Oh, yeah. Main Bond Radio got it. Oh, uh, yeah, public main radio public radio took it. And, but, 
but we had um we had lines on the air you know the city lines that were you know playing classic hits for lewiston classic hits for auburn classic hits for bar harbor you know that shit so well sure. lewiston well lewiston definitely good for classic hits bar harbor they can give a shit about classic hits bar harbor couldn't give a shit about anything unless you were from bar harbor we found out right. unless you're from bar harbor and you got yeah. some money right they don't give a fuck otherwise. And it can't be some money. It's got to be a lot of money. Got to be a decent amount of money. Yeah. You got to be any of the harbors, any of the bars and the harbors. The maha harbor. Yeah. You got you to ha you gotta have the coin. So is that, so you were, were you hitting Presque Isle? Uh, no, we didn't hit up that far. Um, that's, that's but God, we had, um, I remember we had lines for Lewiston, Auburn, um, there was God. Where the hell was it? I'm gonna have to look at the lines. But it was, it was 93.7. We put it on in 2012, May, March of 2012, and it was a, it was a weird week because instead of snow, it was in the 70s <laughs> all week long. Yeah, we had those. We've had a couple of those since I think. Well, last year, last year we had a couple of really warm days. That's why we had all that fucking flooding here. Oh my because god. We had a couple of warm days in December and fucking in like six inches of rain and it's the fucking flooding that gets you i don't know about the regular but that fucking, no, fucking flooding because it's very it, it's motion there's a lot of motion when there's fucking flooding <laughs> it's a lot of fucking it, it, it's like waterbed motion waterbed water bed, water bed motor motion fucking flushing hey i was thinking about um guests so jess do you know who phil hendry was yeah oh god yeah i i was thinking it would be kind of I don't know that it would be. This is just one of those stupid thoughts coming to you. We've got to workshop it. Um, I was thinking, wouldn't it be neat if, if one of the couple of folks that, that Jess, you brought, you've had on as, as um, fill-ins for Chris, if we just had them come on a week without telling them who they're going to be and then just question them like they were some celebrity, <laughs> like said, okay, this week you are whoever. And we just threw questions at him, sort of, you know, it would be something like Phil Henry, just because he was faking his own guest. But we just say like, "Oh, Dolly Parton, how are you?" And he hey, "Well," and and just ask them like, you know, ten questions to Dolly Parton, and we just say, "Oh, Dolly's here this week." You know, uh, I am actually going to see Brad next week, so maybe I'll ask him if if he wants to be a celebrity be that he doesn't get to know who he is until we start asking him questions. Yeah, well, well, it's also sort of a take off on Smartless too, right? You know, the 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 other two people don't know who the guest is, but in this case, the guest doesn't know who the guest is, right? Which I think would—I don't know that it would be funny or not, but I think it's it's maybe worth a little. <laughs> hey, that might be amusing. Okay, I'd laugh, and I think it's what's important because we do do the show for our own, you know, uh, self interest. <laughs> We're really the well, only ones who ever hear it, so yeah, that's it's, true. It's, there's there more audience right this second. That's right. <laughs> this, we're our biggest fans. There, that, that, that is that is uh, that is without argument. I think. I think I'm your it. biggest fan. I'm oh, no, your so, biggest fan. Hey, so, so I have a I have a trash can neighbor update. Oh, oh right, it, the, the, the lady in the trash cans in the moving. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Now. now Please set it up again. She's older, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So she lives in, she lives about three houses away in my cul-de-sac. And for about a month, she has started bringing my trash cans from the curb after the trash has been picked up. But she only brings them halfway down the driveway and parks them on the side of the house, which actually puts them in the way when I'm trying to move a car up and down yeah. the driveway. Um, and so then I still have to go out and move them around. And she had not been doing this for anybody else. And this past Friday, the trash and recycling had both been picked up and I just hadn't gotten out there yet. And I actually sent a text to my friends at like, I don't know, 10 or 1030. And I said, um, excuse me, my trash cans are still at the curb. What is going on? And like an hour later, here she comes. She grabs both of my trash cans. I see her pull them down the driveway. And then I see her walk across the street. And so I jump up and run to the window to see what's going on. And this is different than any other week. She goes to the house across and over 
and just she doesn't move their trash cans, but she straightens them. Then she goes to the house, the next house across, takes his trash cans up and puts puts them next to his house. Then she goes to the next door neighbor with the arms, straightens her trash cans, but leaves them be. Then she goes to the house that's between hers and the next door, takes their trash cans, pulls them all the way down their driveway. So now you have no sound, Wally. Jesse, if you didn't have drama, I don't know what the fuck you'd do. Right? But but now it's not just me. So now it's slightly less weird, I think. Yeah, but you really need to talk to her. I want to find out what, why she thinks. It's like she's got some sort of OCD variant. Yeah, yeah. She's like got a COVID variant. It's the OCD uh, variant. But now it's not personal against just my trash cans. No. Maybe, maybe your friend from uh, your friend, I assume is from the neighborhood. My friends that I texted the, the friend. Yeah. No, that, no, no, no. They don't oh, even live in Tennessee. Oh. oh, I was thinking maybe it was a, maybe it was like some sort of practical joke. And they said, Oh, you gotta go move the other people's trash too. I don't know. So I mean, maybe she, maybe she listens to cheese wits. You, you know, you know, this, Oh, what is that? <laughs> maybe that just a, maybe she's just a cunt. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. I mean, nobody nobody really knows. Nobody really she, knows. She heard she heard about the clitoris oil and she wanted to get rid of it. Listen to this. It. The clitoris oil got every fucking one of us. I think we can all agree on that. Okay. <laughs> I here's another stupid thought I had. I know I have stupid thoughts, but I was thinking about the the looming. No. <laughs> you I know, do in the know. bank. Well, what is it? You're so full of shit. You don't have stupid <laughs> thoughts. Who the fuck are you trying to fool? The Mando? Man, is it Mando? Is that what it's called? Mando? No, it's definitely not Manda. Yeah. And Manda. But I was thinking, if you start using that stuff, like my dog is going blind. He wouldn't be able to find me because that stuff takes away all your smell. I can't use it. Is your dog masturbating too much? Huh? No, he's no, it's it's uh you know what? You're always picking on the indigent. <laughs> hey, he, he, he's got he's got the uh he's got the, the uh the, 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 the... <laughs> yeah he's got the uh i don't know the so don't make fun of him you know because that that he's every got time the diabetes that's every time that's strike somebody and you make fun of it 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 harms the research for somebody. so every time diabetes <laughs> He has the diabetes. He can still walk, unlike my sister. He can mm -hmm. walk, but he's got the diabetes, and so he's getting the cataracts, and he's he's going blind. Poor little poor poor little fella. He's eighty five pounds, not little, mm -hmm. but poor poor little guy. He is he is uh, he is losing. Them. By the way, I got a call. I, I, I want to give you an update on my sister. I, I wish you would, because I, I got to tell you, I was thinking about calling your sister and asking her if she'd like to join my bowling team. Because we really need a good handicap. So. <laughs> How long have you been saving that one up? Uh, actually, uh, about 45 seconds. 45 <laughs> seconds. Yeah, so so I get a call on Sunday from her caseworker. Oh, now, you don't want to get a call from your uh, handicapped sister's caseworker on a Sunday. That, that That's like if you've got kids and you get a call at 1 in the morning, right? Mm -hmm. It's bad news. It wasn't bad news. She had called the rapid response team about her legs being very weepy because she's fucking just, among other things, she's my sister's a st stupid pain in the ass with her drinking, uh, not her drinking of salty beverages <laughs> be be because she can't move and you know, doesn't have mobility. She retains water mm -hmm. and, and it ends up. Her she ends up swell. Her legs end up swelling up because you know she's not moving them. That's swell. And then, and then, and then they her legs essentially leak. The f liquid comes, fluid comes out of her pores. But anyways, they gave her a new medication, and uh, it's going away. Oh, good. Good. Yeah. So, so, so she she'll never walk. Of course, Chris. Mm -hmm. I know you were thinking she might be able to, but she still won't be able to walk. But her legs won't be leaking, which is nice. Oh, well, that's good. I mean, listen, we all have goals in life. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the goals in life should be non-leaking legs. Now, I could be wrong. Look, I've been wrong before. I've been wrong before. No, no. No, and it's your own fault. 
Look at marriage them. number two. That was a that was a big mistake. So was marriage number one. Well, she so. lives in a so. Just do your parents live in a an assisted living or a care facility? Well, now they live in a. It's a technically a group home. Okay. Um, but they were so living they in an assisted living want. facility. Right. So they're free to do what they want, though. If they if 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 they want to eat certain shit, they can eat whatever they want. Oh yeah. And yeah, I, so I I don't mean to be rude, but I I had no idea that there was group homes for people that weren't of you know, retardation. I had no idea that was actually a thing. So you, you've taught me something. Yeah, it's a it's a house with a caregiver and it's like a four bedroom house. The caregiver has one one room and then three residents. Interesting. I did, I, I did not know that was a thing. Yep, we Do just moved my mom in, in there. My, my stepdad's been in there for a couple months. Do they rotate? Does the uh, caregiver rotate? Yeah, like, uh, there's one yeah. There for three a couple days, days on, a couple days off, I think. Yeah, interesting. That, that that's that's a good deal. So it's basically people who can sort of get on by themselves, but well, need somebody to keep an eye on them for twenty four hours a day. They can't. They can't. Neither one of them can get on by themselves anymore. Which the assisted living we didn't realize initially was assisted living was not the right choice for either one of my parents. Right. And then um, an incident happened, and my stepfather could no longer be in assisted living and we found this other place for him. And then it turned out the place was so great and my parents were missing each other. And so we just got my mom a couple of weeks ago, moved in to the same place. Well, so good. I like that. I, mm -hmm. I, I, I like that. I like that idea that, that they were able to, to do that. It's so basically the like they're is... living in a house with a full-time caregiver. So it's ideal. And they also get to share expenses and shit. I assume, like like cable, the things like you had a. That's you know, all. That's all. That all comes with the the price of the. It's not cheap. Oh, it's just as expensive as an assisted living or a nursing home. Yeah, but it sounds more manageable for the people who are actually living there. Yeah, they get they get more sick. attention in the assisted living yeah. place. There would be like one person on staff at for night 25. for for however many people they had right. in there and. They're closed in their room down a long hallway. Like nobody knew what was going on in there. So at least now hmm. they're in this house. And I think, I think it's just a better situation. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm hearing what you're saying. I like it. Mm -hmm. I like it. But yeah, they oh. can. Um, the only reason my mother can't continuously spend $50 a day with DoorDash right now is because she doesn't know her address anymore. Well, that's <laughs> and I'm going to try to keep it that way. <laughs> she, where do you live? I don't know. I'm on the phone. <laughs> I, 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 I have no. Chris, are you talking to somebody? No. Why? Oh, I thought I thought I heard I thought I heard another voice. I thought oh, maybe it was the cat. Oh, oh, my cat. No, you can't see it. I have um, catnip all over the place in here. In, in my little office area, because my, my wife has moved um, the chameleon from upstairs downstairs because it was <laughs> too hot upstairs. I'll be right Do you back. have a Keep chameleon? Going. I don't know what. It's, it's, it's a lizard that does stuff. I don't know what the hell he does. That does so, stuff? Yeah, he, uh, yeah he's just, he, he, you know, he, I'm looking at him right now. He's just, he just. Does it have just, a sign up that says we'll do lizard things for money? He Yeah, he's just laying on a vine. He's just hanging out. But the cat came in. I wasn't paying attention. I forgot the lizard was in here, and the cat was like, "Ooh, lizard!" And uh, ended up finding the catnip and ripped all apart the catnip instead of ripping apart the lizard. Thank goodness. Well, I mean, there's there's pluses and minuses. Yeah, but now I'm. I'm I, however, uh, this is how lazy I am. I'm not gonna clean up the catnip. And all I really have to do is bring in the vacuum and go. But I'm not, I'm I'm leaving it there for my. And I'm going to say, I couldn't find the vacuum cleaner. This is like years ago, many, many moons ago, when Julie and I were married still. I uh, was tired of the dog shitting on the floor yeah. and picking it up because it was an incontinent beagle that we had. So I just got tired of it. So one day I took a shit on the floor. <laughs> you did. I did too. And I, I know I told Jess this 10 years ago. Um, 
And I left the shit on the floor just so I could revel in watching Julie pick up my man shit off the floor. <laughs> I wonder why that marriage didn't work shit. out. Do what? Yeah, it's weird. You're right, Jess. Say that again, Jess. I wonder why that marriage didn't work out. That's so weird. Yeah, I know. Uh, maybe because she was a cunt. Is that possible? <laughs> maybe that's it. Maybe it wasn't me. Maybe it's because she was a bleeding sieve. Okay. <laughs> wow. Or one wow. of those things. I, I, I guess it ended badly. Oh, no. We talk all the time. <laughs> man. Oh, man. I, I, um, I, I literally, I saw her picture on the side of that truck. I think I told you about. And there was a violent reaction. <laughs> for me when I saw it. A violent fucking reason to go, the what the, the fuck is that bitch following me fucking around for? God, I feel like I just want to shit right here. I uh, had lunch today with someone who brought up both our favorite dead guy and the PD before me in Maryland, whose picture you shared with us last week, Chris. Oh, so the the... the I guess if we combine combined both of them, that would be the broken troll. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He the, he yeah. said first of all he was shocked to find out what a terrible person the dead guy was. He really? said he said I don't I'm not saying I don't believe it because I do, but I've never seen. He, he said I never saw anything that would indicate that he was like that. And I said, well, that's because he you were never any authority over him, and you could actually no 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 no, no. try again. Let's back up. You were not a female authority over him. No, no, because he got uh, Doug Hillard fired. He got. Um, oh, did he really? Yeah, he was. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, I was, didn't know he got Doug fired, too. And and the that stories that I heard about him after all of the shit I went through were that he would he got fired from one job for having a second selector database that he would hide from the consultant that mm -hmm. was supposed to be. He was supposed to be following the consultant's guidelines, which. I'm anti-consultant anyway, but he he basically if if you were an authority over him, he thought that he knew better and he would do whatever it took to do whatever the fuck he wanted to do. If that meant getting you fired. So be it. So this person that I had lunch with said, I never knew. It, he said, I've never heard anybody say anything bad about him and I never saw anything bad from him. And I said, well, that's because you weren't on any authority over him. Um, the number of people that he got fired at that station was <laughs> pretty high. Um, and then he, he brought up the former program director and he told me a story about how she begged. He said she was one of the loneliest people he had ever known because she begged the record labels to like throw her a birthday party or something. Come on. And only two people showed up. Him and one other record rep from different labels. And that and the the other record rep actually lived in the in the region. She lived in like West Virginia or something. Um and he said every time the door opened to this place where the party was was, she would she would like perk up. Oh, is it for me? Oh man, that is sad. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Who was the, the this was some sort of crazy cat lady programmer yeah she also um thought there was an artist that you've probably never heard of that she thought had a big crush on her because when he came to the radio station i gotta tell you something fucking fucking son of sam david berkowitz wouldn't have a crush on this woman okay when, so go ahead when this She's rough looking when this artist came to the radio station on a radio tour promoting some single or whatever you can't say the artist You've ne it's it's not an artist you would have ever heard of. He yeah. he never did anything. I don't think so he ever made it on any charts anywhere ever. Was it Mitch Malloy? Okay, so it wasn't Jared Neiman. It was not Jared Neiman. No, not Mitch Malloy. Jared okay. Neiman had a crush on me. Thank you very much. Anyway, yes, he did. You're uh, going to be the next husband. Obviously, I, I knew that. Um, this artist when he came to to the station flirted i'm using air quotes flirted with her <laughs> in the studio and on the air and then before How do you flirt with that is it with a turkey leg or what <laughs> and then before he left he he gave her an autographed eight by ten and put his phone number on the back now 
I was a program director for a minute or two. Yeah. I had several yeah, an hour. artists yeah. who flirted with me on the air. And uh-huh. I never once thought, oh, and, and gave me their phone numbers. Never once, with the exception maybe of Jared Neiman, did I ever think that that meant that they were interested in me romantically. Oh, well, my Lord, I'm going to fuck him. I can't wait to fuck him, Jess says. Oh, my Lord. It's not. No. Yeah, uh, the, you're, you, have con, you have power over their careers. You have the ability to do something that could benefit them. Of course they're going to flirt with you. Yeah, text me when you play my record. <laughs> right. The only artist ever flirted with me was David Cassidy. Didn't you turn your phone I believe off? that. I do believe that, too. I believe that. Did he try and give you the uh, old reverse do run run or what? <laughs> oh, wait, that was Sean Cassidy. Never mind. <laughs> that, no, it, it was it was David. What is going on with your phone that you turned off? I'm I'm guessing it's his, his fucking notifications from Grinder at this point. That's what it sounds like. That's probably what no, it is. No, I turned it back on and I have a fucking bunch of messages. Lolly! <laughs> Jesus Christ. I really, you guys, I really, oh, it's, it's something from... It says all about. Oh, never mind. It says all about, every. Never mind. I turned it on. And it says everybody who's joined the chat. That was just joined the chat. Chris joined the chat. I and I have no idea how to turn off that sound. Oh my god. Chris joined the chat and just joined the chat. Oh look, there's Rue McClanahan I've, joining I've the chat right now and now. Jared Neiman. Mm-hmm. I cannot figure out the volume now. God damn it. Yeah, there's my sister. I got to turn off the alerts. I don't like the alerts. All right. I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> do, do, do. Anyway, I Jared apologize. Neiman just got married again recently, and it still wasn't to me, so. Yeah, yeah I, and how did that happen, by the way? I'm just. Um, I don't know. I thought yeah. you were going to, yeah. you know, put this to bed once and for all. And when I say put to bed. <laughs> but it's an again married? Yeah. You don't want to be messing with an again married. I don't want to get married either, so it's fine. But you definitely don't want if you were to get married, you don't want it to be you don't want it to be somebody who's an again. Let's Getting be honest. Again. Marrying him was never really what I wanted to do to him. Was is he a handsome guy? He was. So he I'm just curious, is, just what though, what right? did you want to do with him? Did did you want to take him out to the Olive Garden? <laughs> yes. Or um did did you want to go ahead and just you know, skip dinner and do the horizontal bop. Yeah, any of the above. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Who sang that song, yeah. Horizontal Bop? Who, that, I, I, I don't know. Is that a Bob Seger song? I thought that was a skinny bop. Unskinny bop. Unskinny bop, yeah. The horizontal bop is something bop, else, bop. Kelly. Yeah, I remember that one. I, I think there's a song. All right, anyways. Can well, you imagine Jess, like, handing Jared Neiman a note? That says, would you like to have breadsticks and fuck? Yes or no? <laughs> Looking for a check mark. Has has an artist ever like made the move made like a serious move? Uh, not one that was more than like not not anybody that wanted any sort of relationship. No 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 nobody wanted coitus. Uh, well, yeah, for sure, coitus. Really? They wanted relations. Yeah. They wanted really. Yes. Wally, God. look at this. <laughs> Wait, let me quote you. <laughs> I am. <laughs> yeah. That's an have. old, old one. Guys, have. I have a I have My a naked Jenna. Episodes. I've got a naked Jenna in front of me. Give me 60 seconds. That's a, wow. <laughs> she sent you a pic? Nice. There's a Put no, no, no. She, she just, she just got home. I'll be, I'll be right back. Really? She just got home naked. Well, he said she was working downtown. Oh. Maybe she has a side, a little side hustle going on. I just on. feel like maybe in the traveling though, you would put some clothes on. Hey, what are you drinking? Water. Oh, it looks pink from here. It's pink water. It is well. Is it fla- so? It's flavored pink water mm-hmm. with with lots of. I, I I am drinking Jocko energy drink. 
I don't know what that is. It's delicious. Hmm. It's jock. I'm. I'm. I. I have one. Like, I don't know. Every three or four days, I might have one, but I have not for the energy. They taste good. This one's sour apple. It's very tasty. Hmm. Well, good. Yeah. I also you. heard about a, a new, um, a new uh, fizzy water, seltzer water. Mm-hmm. I call it fizzy water. I think it's called Tropico. It does. It has 15 calories because it has a little splash of sugar. But the woman who I was talking to said it has the most flavor of any of the seltzer water she tries, she's had, and she drinks almost exclusively seltzer water. More flavor than the. I I can't vouch for it, Jen. Jess, it's anecdotal. It's anecdotal. Well, then why are we having the conversation? Because there are people that like that. What's that? What's that popular one? Uh, I. Who knows? In the can I, with the... Oh, it's in a can? The stuff that's in a... Shit. Hold on. Yeah, I I, 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 I don't know. A bubbly? Bubbly? Oh, I, no. You're already done? That's it. That's it. Wow. You cleaned up too? Wow. LaCroix. Oh, she, she's over there gargling right now. We're fine. <laughs> Everything is good in this world. Lord, she she definitely does not listen to this, does she? No, she's looking right at me, going like that fucking wrong. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm hearing. By the way, my bedroom must be extremely cold. I stop. Oh, whoops. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh, you, you better put you keep your hands to yourself, friend. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> there's there's Jenna's debut on the show. Yeah. <laughs> Stop it. Stop. That's that's gonna be referred to as the Wilhelm stop. <laughs> and and uh what we'll be sitting in court one day and did you hear the plaintiff God. say stop? Yeah, Wally and is exhibit F. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yes, I did. No, my system wasn't working that day. Oh well, whoops. <laughs> whoops, why wasn't it recording? I don't understand. So, so, and Chris, what about you? Has, has anybody ever put a move on you? Um, what, a, an artist? Yeah, an, uh, yeah, an artist, creative type. Somebody you um, were working with. No, not at all. Because, I mean, I got into this a little bit later than you, you ancient fuckers. And, you know, I didn't have people coming on to me. Like, when I got to Winchester, you know who was working me on a record? Who? Oh. Gloria Gaynor. Okay. For real? Yeah. And that was 10 years ago. And I'm like, what the fuck? There's a new Gloria Gaynor record? What fucking year is this? Mm. Winchester VA? Yeah. No yeah. shit. Yeah. And I'm like, hey. okay. Listen, Willie Nelson's putting out three albums a year. He has never put the well, moves on me, though. Well, <laughs> you should have. I No artist has ever put a move on me. No record person has ever put, not that I would notice, to be honest with you, because I'm oblivious to myself. The only person who's ever put a any sort of move on me is when I was living in doing extra work and I was in a makeup chair. And, and the that makeup person dude, was Jerry Orbach. <laughs> the makeup <laughs> dude um, put the move on me. God. You know that poor Jerry. Hey, did you know a guy named Denny D. Royer? Uh Denny D. Royer, it sounds like a fast food chain in Idaho. He owned some no. stations. He owned a station down there in Virginia. When I was working in Virginia, he owned the, the stuff in uh, Lynchburg, Roanoke area. He owned some other stuff. I think he had something down in uh, Stanton. Wow. Oh. Otherwise spelled as Staunton. Uh, where the, uh, who was from there? Now, where, where did you work when you were down there? Um. W J J S W uh what was the other station? Uh, God, you worked for Jammin JJS? Jesus I did Christ. work for Jammin. Good I, abs- I I was the uh I was so when I was down there I worked on the FM. I worked on both sides actually. I, I used to do middays on Jammin. Okay. And I was the white guy. And then yes, on you the were. other side it was um I, I forget what the fuck it was. It was something <laughs> 1025, but it was a pop station and then it became a country station up against W Y Y D. So you were, you were the white guy, on the black station, and then 
when you went to the country station, I assume you were the black guy. I did morning. I did mornings on the uh, countryside. <laughs> I was the pro, I was the operations director of of it, and I was also so it, that was the station. So that was my first PD gig, my first full on PD gig, and I was the operations director, the PD of that side. Um, but I was also the um, midday on j j j j j jamming WJJS. And um, I, I was also the production director. That's also where I started doing the, the, the Toys for Tots thing, Jess, that I brought up to New York. Mm -hmm. that, that, that thing that I used to do. And, um, and I basically did everything down there. But it was a great fucking job because I learned so fucking much down there. We had a, a, it was actually a fully staffed station until we started getting um, SMN reels. It was at SMN. What, the satellite music network? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. The, the, they were on reels with the one kilohertz tones and shit. Mm -hmm. We started carrying that on the countryside, but the uh, JJS, you couldn't do that. It was live 24 7. It had to be because that was the, where the money was. Well, I'm driving home from. Um... From where what uh, from um where, Alabama last week two mm -hmm. weeks ago, and Austin? there's this no 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 this was this was Austin was uh that was a plane ride, oh. um yeah when I was driving home from Alabama a couple weeks ago I was driving up eighty one, and eighty one you know it's longest fucking road ever God knows yeah. I mean it was I got on at mile one and didn't get off until exit three oh two, yeah um but there was this one oh three point nine right around. Roanoke, Lynchburg, something like that. And the whole station, I mean, and, and I was mesmerized. Nobody else is going to listen to that. There's radio geek listening to this. It was five minutes of CBS News plus the commercial afterwards. And then the rest of their clock was made up of one and two minute vignettes. You know, like the Kim Commando minute, the Sean Hannity minute. The, and it was just all this shit, you know, the, the religion minute. That was Yuck. the whole fucking clock. I'm what? Like, what the fuck? What, was that just something went wrong? Like the whatever no, was supposed was to format fill didn't. That can't. Be, that's not a format. Is that a format? Well, it must. Because there, there was a, there I know was that a, there were times where something within the automation system failed, and it would just start pulling PSAs and promos and just playing those because <laughs> it couldn't get to the music or something. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh yeah. I mean, we've we've all had that, but no, this is this was a real station. Um, in in it, I think it was Roanoke. One hundred three was it one hundred three point nine or one hundred seven point nine? I can't remember. But oh, nonetheless, probably, well, it was one hundred seven nine. That's 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 too. That wouldn't that be like a a, a fifty thousand watt station at one hundred seven nine? One hundred three point nine is be. Lynchburg's classic hits. Yeah, I'm looking now at um, one hundred seven point nine is country. That's yeah. You know, that's it might have been in, that's WYYD, I think, or it used yeah. to be WYYD. One hundred seven point nine is WYYD. Yeah, that, that, that's it might have been Yeah, it was. Oh yeah, WXIS in Irwin, Tennessee, and they call it yeah one a live wire radio. Well, <laughs> that's not a very live wire. <laughs> and if you go, it's got they got a sports station. This live wire radio It's a smart radio for busy people, and all this fucking thing does that's all it does is just vignettes huh Man. yeah i mean i guess you try new things there was a well, station certainly. up here in new hampshire uh, i think it was north conway that was airing um they basically aired 15 minute blocks of local infomercials they they called it a travel station and it was just all information for travelers so if you're traveling through the air, so so it would be um, uh, Becky's restaurant is 15 or, or maybe maybe 11 minutes of Becky's restaurant information, and our menu and this and this and this, and then a break. And then, you know, another 11 is minutes. That, of I've always wondered when I'm driving down a, a highway and, it, and it'll say like local information, go to whatever AM radio state, you know, radio frequency. And I've always thought, I wonder what is on. I've never actually listened to that frequency. I always, but I've always thought, I wonder what's on it. Is that what that is? 
Uh, well, well, no, that's usually a state run. Like, yeah, that's usually the traffic stuff. But yeah, I mean, the I've traffic. seen these traveler stations and stuff, but I don't get the concept behind it because you're not selling to travelers. You sell to local people that are there all the time. Yeah. That's why, you know, it's a dollar a holiday in Ocean City in the summer because it's all transient. You, yeah. you know how fucking, you know, well, I, I think back in back in the day, um, I think back in the day you were able to fool advertisers and say, oh, man. With, with the kind of um, uh, tourism we get here, y you should buy into this. And we'll put you on the radio. Yeah, you'll, you'll be. And, and then probably, and I don't know if this is true or not, but they probably also had some sort of um, uh, published material, too, that went with it, right? Mm -hmm. And we're going to have, you'll, you'll be on the placemats at Becky's and, and, and the whatever's, whatever's, whatever's. What does that mean, that no sharks at... Well, I'm not worried about the top thing, but look at the bottom. Informational one-minute segments. That's how they describe their station. No shit. Yeah. Audio magazine. It's an audio magazine. I didn't even know Kim Commando still existed. Oh, God, yeah. I mean, I listened to her and Beto, I mean, intently, um, every uh, Sunday. I listened to it on a replay. You do? Oh, yeah. I mean, look, she she makes you feel a little bit smarter. <laughs> <laughs> I thought maybe I had to listen to Kim Commando. I could learn some some technology shit. You could learn to hang up your fucking phone. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm just picking up my phone right now. Did it, did and, and trying it so far it's not making any noise. Did it, did it. Be quiet. Did it, did it. Did it, did it. I'm clo <laughs> I did I <laughs> Here it comes. <laughs> mm hmm I'm just waiting for a while again. It's coming back and giving me all that information from the previous text. Tell me, you have a text, and here is what it says. Fuck, it's Wednesday. Give me you have a text. Go fuck yourself, San Diego. That that's what that's what it is. It's it's trying to tell me I have all these texts and shit. And my wife sent me a text and blah 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 blah. Okay, all right, I'm I'm good with that. Oh. So we're watching the news, um, and not on the, the, the carry channel, but just on the, um, the app that you just have, you can only, you just watch the news. Here's your 15 minutes. You don't have to watch the repeat of it. And the news story, I just wanted to share this because it's so fucked up. The news story is about a, a house fire and two people have, have, uh, perished in the house fire. And it's, and uh, the, but police, uh, so the news story goes, a uh, house fire on Main Street in East Bonfuck. Police are not releasing the names of the two people found in the house. They are saying they responded to a fire at Jane and John Smith's house. <laughs> at this time, it was fully engulfed. There were no survivors. What the fuck is that reporting? It and and it's this kind of reporting. There's a reporter. There's a there's a you know a naughty a headshot, and the person the, the the reporter reading off their cell phone. It's not even reporting. It's reading. It's just fucking heinous bullshit. Yeah, it, it, that's. Just, I mean, <laughs> I guess I don't need to say again. This is one of the reasons I stopped watching the news. Yeah, well, because it, it's bullshit. It is bullshit. It's there not was new. not too long ago. It came up with my Facebook memories. I posted about an actual news story that I saw, and I, I don't even remember the what the story was, but the reporter they threw it to a reporter on site, and I don't know. Let's say there was a, a, explosion at a building, right? They throw it to the reporter who's at one of the local hospitals. And the reporter essentially says, we don't know if any of the victims will be brought here or if they've been brought here already. <laughs> Back to you, Bob. Yeah. Okay, so you've got that. And there was some something going around the other day um, that, and the deceased person was not available for comment. <laughs> Come on. Oh, yeah. That, that the deceased was true. not available for comment. Well, oh damn it. God. Yeah, it's uh, the, the news has become just nothing but 
speculation. Yeah. It's all speculative. Mm -hmm. There is no real fucking news. As John Roth said one day, and my dad is a very, you know, very uh, knowledgeable guy. Yeah, of And course. he said, it's all bullshit. Yeah. Well, he's not, he's he's right. not wrong. It's all bullshit. Every bit of it's bullshit. It's I, all I bullshit. don't think he's wrong. Agreed. I, I think, I, I think he's, 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 he's closer to right than we are, I believe. Mm-hmm. No, it's, it's, yeah. I was thinking today... I was listening to uh, um, Ted Sarandos. S Saran uh, what's his name? Yeah, it's it, the guy, net, the net head of Netflix. Is that his name, Ted? Yeah, I think Sarandos, so. Sarandos. Something like that. Yeah. But I was listening to some of his, some, him talk today about the, the future of broadcasting or the future of media. It, it feels very grim. Well, I think it's very grim, too. I'm in the process of buying another station here, and it's like, do I really want to get into this? Yeah, there's something available at the right price that I know I can move to another frequency. And uh, this translator would basically have the effect of a class A FM from where we're going to put it. So it's it's it, it's the right thing to do. Oh, so you're, I just you're, don't want to deal with it, bullshit. It's, it's, not a, it's currently not broadcasting. It's just a translator. Mm -hmm. Right yeah. now it's doing one watt somewhere. And we're going to move it to somewhere to do 250. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be fascinating once we... But the uh, ERP will be 3K? About 3K, yeah. Yeah. Look at look at us on our inside our inside knowledge. Our the inside ERP baseball is something, isn't it? Will be 3K. It's such... Like, it's all that shit that when I was... And, and still, it was all that shit when I was just starting out and even... 20 years in and 30 years in, didn't give a shit about and i and i still don't but it, it's so um it's it's so there, there are people that i know that i have friends who worked in radio i have some friends who worked in radio who that they live on that shit they fucking know all of that stuff like crazy mm -hmm. but have never really worked so, so when i say they worked in radio they've never really been on air they've been like people they, they, they sell but they're, they're they're the kind of folks who i've never done it but i know everything about it mm -hmm. and and, well, and you they could describe they a bunch shit. of my general managers <laughs> that's exactly right that that that's usually who who those people are they're people who are sales people who are who are um uh, programmers who want to be programmers I, I don't think I've ever met a salesperson who didn't want to be the program director. Mm. Because how or hard can it be? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we did it. <laughs> right. Look, they if, let us you, in. If you youngsters can do it, well, <laughs> why can't I? I was just, I was out, um, um, I don't know, I was just fucking out shopping. And I saw a guy wearing a Red Sox um, jacket on who looked exactly he could have been Eddie's. Remember Eddie? Yeah. Salesman and Rome. He could have been his like now 50 year old son. No kidding. I looked at so I I don't I had telling you I had to double take. This guy, um, Chris, he loved the Red Sox. L loved the, everything he owned was Red Sox. And he was full of he had every salesperson story that every salesperson ever has. He Those had, are the best. He had the game. He was the guy who'd come over and he put one leg up on the chair, and and a, a, a knee oh, and a, an elbow on a knee, and he'd start talking to you and telling. And he just he had he had the moves, man. Mm -hmm. He just had the salesman's moves, and and a good guy, but kind of an asshole who would slap you around when he got a chance. Abrasive as fuck. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We all and know he, that guy. Yep. Oh, you know, you, you know, you know those guys. Oh, yeah, I, I had, I had this sales guy that would come by the, um, come by my office in the morning, and say, "Hey, big guy." Oh, yeah. And, you know, I finally got to the point where I started looking at him. Huh? Short sleeve shirt and a tie. Please tell me you're not going to be representing our company that way. <laughs> <laughs> as, as soon as someone says, "Hey, big guy," 
they're so condescending yeah. immediately. It, that's so What's immediately up, sport? condescending. And, you know, and I was at a religious it's station, sport. so I couldn't say, you know what? <laughs> Fuck your mother. You know, I couldn't hey, do that. It'd be like going into Jess and, hey, little lady, what's going on? <laughs> it's like, no, first, calling me big guy is like going into a, a, a fucking Denny's, <laughs> okay? And See. Jess is the waitress and slapping her on the ass and calling her toots. Yeah. Okay. It wasn't the slap on the ass that bothered her, but fucking don't call me toots. Yeah. Asshole. I, so I have never. Um, one of the reasons why I think that, that I have. Uh, I, I'm, I, I'm generally a, a good natured guy. Pretty happy. I'm not very caustic. I, I don't yell and swear at people for the most part, but I fucking hate that condescending bullshit. And that's the only time I really get flustered at work in a working environment. I'm talking about a working environment. I, I, I never yelled at my employees. I called them dumb cunts or assholes. Or, I never did anything like that or anybody I worked with. And I never, because I never looked at them as employees, even though I just use that word. I just look at them as people I worked with. Unless you started calling me fucking big guy or talking shit about the people that I was working with, and then I would end up losing a job <laughs> or, or I'd end up being on a shit list because that's the one thing I just fucking would never stand for people who are that asshole that you're describing, Chris. I just could not, I could not deal with that person. That person fucking would rub me fucking such the wrong way well, you know, people why would get... say the same thing about me though people say god roth what a fucking asshole you know well, I, mean, I know people happens. said i was an asshole so oh no 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 no. you misspelled cunt <laughs> 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 I, I i don't know it, it's fun it, for the record i'm not I've sorry ever... <laughs> <laughs> no, nobody that i've ever worked with on an equal basis and that would be everybody from the overnighter to the morning show, all the creative people. I don't think I could point to anybody and say they would say I was an asshole of any kind. But I've worked with plenty of GMs and salespeople who would say, that guy's an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. For well, absolutely. yeah, because if you if you say no to their brilliant ideas, yeah, then you're an asshole. You absolutely I are. I was it, told that people, especially in Maryland, that the salespeople were terrified of me. Really? I never went off on any salespeople. I sure as fuck said no to salespeople. Yeah. F yeah. No, we're not going to do that. We could do this other thing, but we're not going to do that. And you know, and those are the salespeople. So in this radio talk, so though, because those are the lazy salespeople in my estimation, those are the people who don't want to, sell the station they just want to get money from a client mm -hmm. they don't care whether it works for the client they, they don't care about or for the station hey, i can get the money and meet my quota if you'll fucking whatever it is if you'll fucking take these pills if you'll fucking play a special song we're not fucking doing that shit mm-hmm and and sometimes it's tough being the gate because you don't want to have to be a gatekeeper, right? Yeah. But that's what you end up being. And that's that pisses me off when you have to be a gatekeeper against the people you're working with. Yeah. Why the fuck? Am I, I'm having to defend our air product against you. That's not what I'm supposed to be doing. The number of times I wanted to say, have you ever actually listened to our radio station? Oh, no, th that doesn't happen. You know that. Well, doesn't and I happen. think that some of the people in that building haven't listened to that fucking um, radio station since it was playing elevator music. Mm -hmm. I well, firmly believe that. Mm -hmm. I, agree. I have worked at stations where salespeople's job was to listen to listen, listen to the competition. That's every station I've ever worked at. Yeah. See what yeah, the, I always see who they're at, not to see what they're doing, to see who their advertisers are, mm -hmm. and then go get them. Mm -hmm. Well, how about listening to what we're fucking doing so you can sell us? Yeah, it would be nice if you sold us and sell the people we have on the air, the music, the features, the shit. No, we're they don't want to listen to us for. for that. They want us to provide them with one sheets for that. Yeah. <laughs> Again, something I would I, it, it, I did not do those things. Mm. And for that, I was an because I would say this: 
listen to us. Yeah. Figure out what we are. Just, just fucking listen. Mm -hmm. how, how can, it, it's like fucking, you know, buying a car from a blind guy. You know, I fucking can't see the car. I don't know anything about it. I don't even know the color. But you say you want red? How about this one? Yeah. <laughs> Is it red? I don't know. I can't see it. It's fucking, it's just, it's insane. And and then stations wonder why. Uh, all right. And I'm, then the and then the off. ones that would promise the client that the station would do whatever giveaway without ever having yeah. asking if the station would do whatever giveaway. Yeah. No, the, I'm the, sorry, the, we're not going to give away headstones in afternoon drive. But thanks for asking. <laughs> Did you really have that? Yeah, that was Cindy Fox, wasn't it? <laughs> Oh. I mean, I think it was. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, my God. I'm pretty sure that was Cindy Fox. That was a Cindy Fox thing. There, there were certain things There were certain things that I wouldn't allow to happen. Like one of the things I would not allow people to do, the advertisers to do, um, or salespeople to say, um, say you heard it on. You just lost, you just dropped out. Oh. The, the, Which is the ironic old... as fuck. Right? Say you heard it. <laughs> The, the the part where salespeople come and say, oh, we want to say, say you heard it on. Hey, tell blah, them you blah, heard blah. it on Jam and JJS and you could uh, say you get 10% off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nobody comes in and says it. Fucking because they have to hear it fucking 50 well, times before the advertising it. doesn't work. Nobody knows yeah. who the fuck they're listening to. That's right. That's right. And, and, and the, the whole idea of radio advertising for, for those who don't know is. A listener, you have to play it at least a hundred times before the average listener hears it maybe five times. Yeah. The number of times that we would get calls for that brand new song that came out three years ago. Right. You're exactly right. Yeah. You have to and that that's why we get sick of that's one of the one of the one of the things of radio. We would fucking be sick of a song after a year. How come you still playing that song after a year? Listeners aren't sick of it because they haven't heard it. We hear it every day, five times a day. Yeah. They hear it once every third day, mm -hmm. maybe. Mm -hmm. If they're listening and they're hearing it, it's just it's just the whole dynamics of it. And that's what salespeople are going, I think we play the same stuff too much. Yeah. Huh. I think your mother's ugly. <laughs> Where do we go from here? <laughs> that's not a thought. That's an action. That's a truism. That's a real thing. That's a truism. <laughs> bum, so, bum, bum, bum. Chris, are you on the road this week? Uh, no, I'm not back on the road until, um, let's just fucking look. I got a lot of work ahead of me because I got to be out of both houses by the end of the month. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, so I mean, I've been back and forth in storage today. That's why I was like, "Oh fuck, it's Wednesday." Which, so by the way, you're closing your parents' house and your house, and then you're moving to the farm. Well, no, I'm moving from the one farmhouse everything into storage, and then from the Silver Spring house everything into storage. So, so you posted that picture, or I guess several pictures, the other day of your that's from the Silver Spring house, your mini hoard, which yeah. does not yet compare to your parents' hoard. No, nothing ever will. So. I, I just I was wrong. I was curious if you were heading in the same direction or no 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 I'm trying to I'm trying to get rid of stuff I actually took part of my clock collection over to um storage today I'm like what in the fuck Wait. are you holding on to you dumb cocksucker so and by the way it's a month before I go to Madison Wisconsin so oh what? I like Madison but Madison yeah, I just I think Madison's a good city somebody was gonna comment on my clock collection were they not. I so wanted to work in Madison. I I, I uh, interviewed for a gig in Madison 35 years ago, a, a long time ago. And uh, I got a second interview and that's where it ended. But I wanted to work in Madison. It's fucking the architecture that just the city itself is fantastic. I don't know if it still is. It was then. I haven't been in Madison in a long time. And I don't know that anyone was going to comment specifically on your clock collection. I think... Um... Wally, his cock collection? His cock collection, yeah. He's got Hello, oh. everybody. cocks in storage. Um, <laughs> cocks in a box. <laughs> no. That's me. Well, Wally was answering your question on that post about, he said he said you should put it in a in a time capsule. Yeah, time capsule. Yeah, but I mean, it, here's the thing. I'm not going to ever fucking, you know, I, I'm never going to go through this shit again. I'm, I'm, why am I keeping this stuff? Mm. You know, 
you know, yeah, I'll so take pictures of it or I get digital stuff like that grease man shit. You know, it's, it's literally individual pieces of paper, you know, highlighting what he would do, you know, for each show each day. And it's like, why? I mean, that's definitely something you could digitize. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'd, who's got the time? I think if you, if you were going to do a, uh, a documentary, a docu-series, then it would be good shit to have. Yeah, contact the documentarian, see if they want the grease man shit. Hire an intern. Well, I mean, yeah. somebody texted me, um, and they're like, hey, I'll take the grease man stuff. I'm like, you can fucking have it. Mm. Why not? Come and get it. I don't need it. I yeah, don't why not? It. Yeah, so I've been cleaning my garage. I know, different from what you're doing, but and I am just throwing shit away. I have got a ton of shit out there. I'm trying to, <clears throat> so we have a three three bay, and two of the bays are fine. We use them. The third bay was, that's where you, we've thrown. Like I go, ah, put it over there. Ah, throw it over there. Ah, put, blah, blah, blah. And I'm cleaning the thing. I'm saying, fucking, how did I get all this bullshit? So I've just been tossing shit out. Well, and I'm throwing away like all my badges from all these trade shows over the years. Like, why did I keep these? Right? I yeah, kept a fucking... bunch of those too. And then I was like, what the fuck did I think I was going to do with these? Right. I have in my basement, I don't have many more, but I threw out, I had a bunch of like uh, hit makers badge. Oh, uh, Jesus Christ. Bobby Poe convention badges. I had all access passes for like, or backstage access yeah. passes. Yeah, I had a, uh, I had a couple of um, the all access for, I had a Sophie B. Hawkins. I had a, a fucking uh, Def Leppard. Uh, concerts that were popular in our day and and as, uh, there was a van halen uh and, and i just said why do i have this shit and i used to have a huge collection of bumper stickers mm -hmm. i had some why do i have these um for and years I, and years and years i had a couple of trash bags full of radio station shirts they are now behind me in a quilt you don't have any audio anymore um what are you talking about <laughs> yeah his audio is just fucking fine but yeah i i carried this trash bag of radio station shirts from one place to another for years it's crazy yeah yeah and uh, did you see the ones that i put up online the other day all the radio station shirts that i had no yeah, no i, I, I saw bunch of them, and it's like why am i keeping this shit let's see what is this this is a uh a wink martindale signature card that is like labeled number one out of one i mean well, why am i keeping that keep. well only because i'm friends with wink I, I will keep it absolutely but it's but like it's one of one <laughs> why do i need a cell phone charger for what appears to be an lg flip phone why <laughs> i do have i have so many cords and wires. I do too. And I can't begin to tell you even what they go to. Where did you post the shirts? I didn't, I don't see them. Um, I think I might have taken them down, but oh. hold on one second. Let me, I'll, I'll, let me send them to you real quick. Was that next to the, uh, the, 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 the see, I was Is that your house bag. in Thermont? No, no, no. That was a radio station that's for sale. That's, um, AM with the, 1450. With the purple door and the purple bedroom? Oh, no. That's what they, that's what um, her sister wanted us to buy that house. Oh. Yeah. But look at this. These are all the shirts that I found. And look, God, more trade show shit. Director of sales for NAB New York and it's exhibitor phone. for something and exhibitor oh, yeah, for something. Those. I did see that. In private, I and... listened to disco stereo. Yeah. Stuff it in your ear. Oh look, that's from my doll. Oh, I, I think you gotta you gotta keep the wave a shirt. Oh yeah, well I, I'm probably gonna keep some of them. I, I've got a friend that wants some of them too. Got a bunch of CDs I'm throwing away because they're not inside the case. So why oh, what the fuck am I keeping them for? Oh, you gotta keep PGC. Yeah, I mean so, some of these are just iconic, right? Yeah. Well, exactly. Let's see, gotta, probiotic gummies. One. How about that? This is stuff that I'm finding in house. Probiotic gummies, bottle of Advil. Uh, some Ricola, Ricola. Um, oh, look, a Denon CD cart. <laughs> oh, those are fantastic. 
Den and CDs were fantastic. God almighty, what is this? This is, I don't know, an ID to get in somebody's building. And Oh, look, there's the keys to my parents' house. Did I once, uh, did I tell you the story of, of um, so when we were in New York, I outfitted an entire studio via um, record company money. And that included four Denon CD players. Those Denon You did CD mention players. that. That was, wasn't that in, in that Ithaca, in Portland? Portland, yeah. Ithaca, Portland, yeah. You lost your audio again. Yeah, I, I got to fix it now. Again. Is that, yeah, it was Ithaca Court. Boy, you can hear my phone fine. You can't fear me, though. Mm -hmm. I got this shit all backed up. Yeah, b back in the day. Um, but there was there was nothing against doing that shit back then. Plugola, payola. No, I think it was still, I think it was illegal. They just didn't crack down on it. Oh, yeah, no. No, well, you really, I mean, back then, you, you had to take actual money money. And for your personal but, gain, not for the yeah, for, station. For promo if you're doing promotional stuff, that's entirely different. If Jess. you accepted a car for yourself, that's different. Right. right. Although I, I was driving a car that the lease was paid for mm -hmm. by, by the independent promoter. I mean, I was driving a car that, I don't know, some fucking expensive repair was paid for. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but but that was the indie paid for that, not the record. The not the indie. record company. That was the indie between. Mm -hmm. Right. The mm -hmm. indie collected from the record company, and then the indie gave us our budget. Yep. So th that, that's how they got all I believe that, that indie also bought us our cigarettes and coffee. That indie did. Uh -huh. That Because we we also had a uh, budget at the um, that little convenience store nearby, whatever the fuck it was called. Mm -hmm. It fixed Estelle's car. And, and then other stuff later Jesus. on in other places. A TM Studios Christmas ornament. What the fuck do I need that for? <laughs> What is it? A, 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 like, like the, like the, the jingles. TM TM's, Century? Yeah. Oh, my God. I yeah. just found my passport. How about that? <laughs> that shouldn't be there. Oh, look, another Denon CD cart. Yeah. I. I uh, and you know what? Jenna's back home. I better go because... um. The no, twins. we're not done. We, we're sitting here bullshitting about all this shit that I got out of the other house from the white car. Okay, well. By the way, do you want your Midol? <laughs> it's not for me. <laughs> oh my god okay she all just right. told me i had to hang up so okay. um, all right we'll talk to you all next week all Time right to fuck the twins. see you later <laughs> Bye.